everyone welcome back today i'm going to walk you through how i configured specter wm and spoiler alert i leaned heavily on chat gpt because well after all the documentation isn't very helpful if i'm perfectly honest so if you're looking to rice your next killer desktop on unix porn or you want to rice specter wm stick around i think you'll find this very informative first things first to achieve a good rice you need four essentials out of the gate. You need a good wallpaper. You need a matching color scheme. And you need a slick GTK theme and icons, a solid compositing configuration. And once you've got these dialed in, I think you'll find that everything else just magically falls into place. Add-ons are where it gets really fun, like NeoFetch, PFetch, or KFetch, what you name it. I keep a couple of terminal CLIs handy. Now, I really don't use the file manager much because I use that NeoVim. But I do keep PCMAN FM installed for those rare occasions. Why? Well, because some of us actually know how to do serious terminal kung fu. Now, let's talk colors. My color scheme is a custom mix inspired by Tokyo Night, Solarized Dark, and a touch of Grubbox. It is an original creation, but I'm still brainstorming a name for it. In NeoVim, I'm rocking Dev is Alive Solarized Osaka Storm color scheme. Now it's got that perfect vibe for coding and daily use. I'll leave a link in the section below. Go ahead and drop a comment. Tell me what coding color scheme you use. Also, don't forget that you can check me out on Discord, Telegram, Reddit, and many other platforms. I'm also now on Odyssey. Just click that link tree in the description section below to find out more. Moving on to the bar setup, or should I say bars? I had a real struggle with Spectre WM's bar. At first, I thought it was just about splitting it into three sections like does and two, but it turns out you need to explicitly declare the center and right content with a plus pipe symbol capital C and a plus pipe symbol capital R. Body helped me get this right in just three prompts after ChatGPT had me going in circles. What about these Chinese characters? It's all thanks to ChatGPT. I'll admit it. I figured out how to name my desktops with them, but I'm still working on listing all the occupied desktops with unique characters, but I'll leave that for another day. The left side is set in the spectrewm.com file. I had to figure out how to name my desktops with Chinese characters, which was in the bar format variable. And it looks like this. Bar background color is under the bar color. And you can add borders and a few other things in the spectrewm.com file. That color scheme in the bar is pretty straightforward. Once you get the hang of it, RGB format is a little quirky though. Instead of this, it's actually this in spectrewm. Almost the same, but not quite. My dozen two bar is a little bit more flexible. I got a toggle to the bottom of the screen, launching a few clickable menus for scripts, clip menu, and a custom conkey setup for key bindings. It's all tied to a key binding in the simple hotkey daemon. When it comes to matching color schemes across apps like NeoFetch, PFetch, HTOP, ZFXTOP, and other CLIs, it's just a matter of tweaking either the source code or the configuration file. You have to find the sections where the color values are listed and then you just tweak them to fit your color scheme. My current build features GZ OSP theme with the surfing orange icon that I probably got from xfce4look.org. I'll leave a link to it in the section below. Someone on my Unix form post suggested a different file manager. I do use Clifum sometimes and I do find that PC Man FM or Thunar works better when showing off your theme and icons. If you use Qt apps, tools like Qt5ct or Quantum can help match those to your theme. Now I haven't had to dive into that yet because, well, I don't really have enough Qt apps to really care about it. Anyway, that's pretty much my Spectre WM setup. Also, I forgot to mention the Conkey displaying my key bindings. So, the easiest way to write an original conkey is just to prompt the chat GPT for an outline and then just build it from there. I usually have chat GPT look at my config file and just output all the key bindings and give a brief description. 
it saves me a lot of time to focus on a lot of other things that are important. I can always go back and edit it at a later date if necessary. Many people use a lot of other things such as Kava, which I personally have zero use for. It looks cool though. Would you like to see Kava or CLI file manager in my rices in the future? Leave me a comment. Not one of those pud whackers ricing that GNOME desktop and calling it a rice when everything is pretty much built in. This requires a little Einstein genius to get set up and well, it's original. And this is how you have a successful rice. Also, if you are one of those who likes Reddit and Unix porn, and even though this rice is very successful in my opinion, could you click on the link below and give me some more love? I'd really like to get more eyeballs on this rice. I really can't tell you the number of gems I've discovered thanks to AI tools like ChatGPT that saved me a lot of time. I probably have most of the rices I currently have, for sure, but they wouldn't be as rad as they are now. So my parting advice is to take your time with this and don't get too discouraged. Search places like 4chan, DeviantArt, Reddit, and many others to get the right wallpapers. Maybe even look at AI to create something original. You can download your themes and icons in different places. Once you get that to match, then you get all your terminal colors to match your theme. Then, you can just simply match your CLIs to your overall color scheme. Also, sometimes compositing has to be adjusted in order to bring some bling. Everything should just complement each other and, well, if it doesn't, just simply go back to the drawing board. Not actually science to get a popular rice on Unix.